Hey everyone, it's Adrian from DraftTime.com and uh, in this video I wanted to show you how to run our Mac version optimizers. Um, a lot of people were having an issue with Macs. Uh, some people were able to get it to work and some people weren't able to get it to work. So um, what I did was I created a separate version of the optimizers that you can use exclusively on Macs. So it should work on, on all Macs. So first off, what you need to do is you need to enable Solver in Excel, and then you need to reference Solver in Visual Basic. Um, and you need to do that in a separate version of Excel without the optimizers open. So first, open up Excel. Open up a new workbook. Go to Tools, Add-ins, and make sure Solver is enabled. And then after that, um, go to Tools, Macros, Visual Basic Editor, and then go to Tools, References, and make sure Solver is checked. After that, close out of Excel. And go ahead and run the optimizer. Or open the optimizer, rather. Um, you're gonna, you might get a pop-up window that asks you if you want to enable macros. Just click on enable macros. So what you're looking at is the Mac version of our optimizer. And you might notice that it's a little bit different. Um, instead of having one button like, like we do on our Windows version of the optimizers, you have four different buttons. And there's actually a reason for that. Um, it, was necessar it, it was actually necessary in order to get it working on a Mac. But I'm not going to get into the specifics as to why it was necessary. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on each button separately. So the first thing you want to do is right here where it says step one, click on run top lineup. And what that's going to do is it's going to generate the top lineup. And then what you have to do is you have to make sure Solver is done running because Solver is, is actually a separate application on a Mac. So before you click on a pen top lineup, you want to make sure Solver is done running and you'll you'll know when it's done running because you'll see it pop up on this menu bar and on the bottom left hand corner of uh, this workbook you'll see that it's running so once it's done running then you click on step 2 append top lineup and then if you want to get the next top lineup the second best lineup then you go to step 3 run next top lineup um, when that's done running click on step 4 append next top lineup um, and then if you want the third best lineup repeat step three, run next top lineup, and then append next top lineup, and so on and so forth. You could run it as many times as you want. Um, but then when you're ready to maybe make some changes to the optimizer, maybe lock someone in, uh, such as Heath Miller, um, what you want to do is you want to click on step one, run top lineup again. And that's going to reset everything, and it's going to give you the top lineup. Um, and then so on and so forth. And, and when all of this is complete, when you're, when you're done running the, the optimizer and appending the top lineups, all your lineups are going to be on this separate worksheet. And there's nothing on there now because I didn't run it yet. But when you run it, you'll see that it's on there. And I'm not going to run it now because I'm recording a video. And for some reason, if I'm recording a video um, and running the running solver, it goes really, really slow. But um, it should work for everyone. Let me know if you have any problems with it. Remember to, to subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, like us on Facebook, do all that fun stuff, and visit DraftTime.com to uh, download all of our, our uh, exclusive content.